Hello there, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to embed your uh, payloads of Ameth into an, a normal APK. So let's get started. I'm going to type ibconfig and I'm going to get through the uh, local IPv4 address of this Windows virtual machine. So I'm going to set the port to 4428. You can also bind it if you want, but I'm going to build. A normal APK, so this I'm going to be showing you how to do it manually. And here we are with the location of our payload. The next thing we're going to have to do is get to the location and navigate. So here we have Ameth. I'm going to rename it to Ameth.apk just to make it more simpler. Now I'm going to open up my APK Easy tool. So over here, we're going to we're going to drag and drop it into our APK's tool. Once we are done, we're going to decompile. Once that is done, I'm going to minimize this. So. I'm going to type app data just to you know delete this APK tool folder in order to make the other process uh, a bit more and less uh, issue. So I'm just going to now drag our via browser, which we're going to bind with the Ameth payload. So once we have finished decompiling via browser. We're going to get into the decompiler tree uh, folder. So over here, I'm going to open up via browser in a new folder in a new window, and Ameth as well. And here in Android Manifest XML of Ameth and and of via browser. So I'm going to place this two in different uh, parts. So here we're going to copy all the permission. Of Ameth payload Android Manifest XML into the via browsers Android Manifest XML. So I've done that. We are finished with that. The next thing what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to look for the services. So here it is. I'm going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into the Android Manifest XML file of via browser. So as you can see, we got the end of activity right over there just below it we're going to paste it and once we're done with that the only thing we're going to need to do is save it and close so once that is done the next thing we're going to do is um, copy all of the uh, folders that are inside Ahmed Molly into the Smalley of your browser so once you copy all of that, the only thing we're going to need to do is now inject a code into the main activity of via browsers smally file. So what I'm going to be doing next is very simple. So just to show you, over here, this is the location to the main activity. So we're going to nav navigate, navigate into that folder, the mark via. UI and activity. There you have it. Browser activity dot small. We're going to edit this, and I'm going to search for on create. So just type with me on create and find next. I'm gonna close. And just below that, as you can see, invoke super. Just below that, we're going to paste a code in that line. So I'm going to be putting the link in the description. So this is the file. So over here, I'm going to paste the code. So the next thing we're going to need to do is, um, as you can see, we got the main activities location. We're going to paste it into this one. So just edit this and paste it. So once you're done with that, pasting the location of the main activity, save it and close the smally file. And all we just need to do now is bind it, sorry, compile it. But you can also edit the apktool.yml. So here you can set it to 22 if you want, but since I'm testing it out in Android 14, 
it's already compatible with 28 so I'm going to compile it now remember guys this video is just for educational purposes nothing here to be learned and misused okay so this video is just for educational purposes I just want I just want to make clear of that so this is the port 4428 and we're going to click on listen and now we're going to um, put our binded payload into a local server. I'm going to host it. So here, I'm going to download that via browser.apk that you can see on the side. Okay, here I'm opening the Ameth uh, client, which is ready to listen. And I'm going to download it. I'm going to open the file and I'm going to install it. So this via browser is now bind it with Amit and when I open it it's going to ask for the permission but as you can see we've already got a connection of uh, from the uh, Android device so as you can see we can have control over it now so when I click on file managers it's loading up as you can see so this is how it works thank you for watching